center of true leadership. The Needy Care Center, NGO, is a non-profitable, non-governmental organization. It is a charity of faith that has ministered to the needs of so many poor and indigent families. The NCC has engaged in so many intervention cases, the healing and rehabilitation of baby grace and yourself. The issue of uh, favor, Miss Favor uh, Amarachi Kalo, um, is a pathetic situation. Although uh, she is a physically challenged, but she says she doesn't see herself as a, uh, one of those that she should be pitied. It is that she needs a job and uh, needs what she can do to take care of herself. Um, when I went to a program in Umwai, and their stage, and um, I came across her uh, as a leader of uh, one of the uh, singing groups that they came to feature in the program where I uh, had to minister. And uh, I saw something in her. So looking at her uh, physically challenged, meeting young people, I took interest in her. I began to ask her some questions. Um, she, actually, she studied accountancy. She studied the accountancy at, uh, uh, at the state, uh, Michael Opera University, Umudike. That's why she had her BSc in 2012. And um, she is 28 years of age. And um, she's working hard and um, she wants to go into business or any other job that will give her less stress. She wants to go into business like um, uh, dealing on electronics or electricals and um, or any other business she could do that will not require um, a lot of movement. Yes, and also she can be employed. She's employable, highly intelligent. She had her BSc. She says she can read accountancy. Any job she can get that will not take uh, cross much movement because she cannot ignore the way she was uh, will be very very fine. But we are appealing to well-meaning Nigerians and well-meaning people all over the world to come to her aid and uh, she's a very good Christian lady and uh, so that she can be empowered and uh, she needs money to start up a business she needs a job whichever one that comes will be very glad so we are appealing that uh, such a young lady should be given a helping hand as much as you can please uh, to aid her movement, she favored needs a uh, wheelchair. Yes, he needs a wheelchair, uh, motorable wheelchair, or uh, whichever uh, automatic wheelchairs that will aid her movement. Whatever that can aid her movement, she needs a wheelchair. My NGO, Needy Care Center, has taken it upon ourselves to see what we can do to help her so that uh, such a, a star does not, uh, uh, I mean, get wasted or rested in the hinterland. She fulfills her destiny and uh, becomes what God wants her to be. There yeah, we are appealing to you, anyone, corporate organizations, individuals, to please get in contact with us today so that uh, something can be done to this singular person, uh, Favor Kalo, who is a physically challenged. You can get us through this phone number 
Um, we discovered that um, you are physically challenged. How long has this been? Over 26 years. Now. Over 26 years. What actually happened? You were born with a disability, or you something happened? Was it an accident? Or what? No, it was an accident. According to my mom, she said I walked in. I was I was walking away when I was wearing the clothes. So suddenly, the day, one day I was sleeping for me to wake up. I couldn't walk again. Started from then to till now. I couldn't walk again. Oh, very sorry about that. Um, I also discovered that you speak fluently. Did you go to school? Yes, I did. Yeah. I studied in my Kelapa University of Agriculture. Okay. Oh, you went to university, you had your first degree? Yes, I read accountancy. You read accountancy? Yes. Okay. Um, when was that? Last year, I began last year. Okay, very good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing presently? Presently now, I'm not doing it. But I've been applying for some places and see if I can get employment and help myself. What has the response, the places you have applied, what has been the, 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 the response? No response from now because if I go there, I'll tell me what I can see and all that. From now, no response. There's no positive response from there. Okay. Um, the uh, association in the state of the uh, handicapped, but, uh, are, you, are you a member or what has uh, been done to help you? Have you made a, gotten any benefit from the uh, Handicapped uh, Association? No, I have not gotten any benefits from the Handicapped Association. Even when I wanted to join, I made an attempt to move the government. It was not, to know I have it was not easy for me. Couldn't see it. I also discovered that um, you work with your bare hands and uh, this thing. Um, you you've not gotten any um, wheelchair? Mm, I have had one I have is not the one that I can just to be alone. I need somebody that can push it and assist me to go around there. So most times I find it very difficult to go out with it if there's nobody around. Oh nobody to push it? Yes sir. So you actually need uh, the one that uh, um, can be you can push by yourself yes, or yeah, or yes, go along with it. Yes. Okay. Um. Now, what nature of job do you think you can get involved in, considering the any kind of job that I can sit down and do comfortably? I can. Any job you can you sit down. Yeah. The, did you do computer? Yes, I did. You did computer. Yes. And uh, um, since you, I know that women don't like to disclose their age. I, um, how about that? If I ask you, no problem. I can say. Um, by seventh of November, I will be clocking to Okay. Okay. We'll be clocking twenty. 
And um, so, how has uh, life been all these days? You know, the how as what of your parents? Uh, my parents are alive, but they are not yet enough financially. But anyhow, God has been helping me. Your life has not been easy. Were you on scholarship no. when you went to university? No. Yes. Your parents were able to take you to this level. Yes, and some other helpers. And some other people were one or the other contributing. Yes, and um, to this uh, lesson. Um, uh, seeing that uh, you are this, uh, how about um, marriage? Has uh, anybody come for marriage for now? Yes, they are coming, but I'm not really okay now. I just want to achieve something. Please make myself comfortable before entering into marriage issue. Okay, you want to secure something and uh, get the best um, for... Um, uh, you, let's go back to the issue of uh, this, because your movement is really difficult. You you don't go to far place because you work on your... Uh, your needs and uh, you need uh, maybe a motorized uh, um, wheelchair that uh, yes. the one you say you can move by yourself and you go to far places and um, have you considered being in business as well yes I have um, because since you cannot get the job people are not uh, nobody showing interest in places you have uh, made the application you are considering Getting involved in business? Yes. Yeah, what kind of business would you want to do? I want to do electrical and electronics business. And if I want to buy the seats in the office and let the car go, they will be in the office. In the, during the Easter retreat, I saw you, you were leading a, a group of uh, foresters. And uh, a team, you have a team? Yes. Yeah, what is it? Uh, what's the name of your team and uh, how did you come leading them? Because I saw everybody, you are the only fiscally challenged person there. And the only fiscally challenged person there is leading the the person. So, how did it come about? By God's grace, I have a little gift that is there to me. I can teach choir. I can... I can teach individual songs or something, but that choir, our name is Peculiar Minister. They are the youth choir of Assemblies of God, the Kumai. So I'm the leader. We came for, uh, we came for a star retreat to minister them today with song. Okay. And um, how has it been? They, how obedient have they been? How, what are the challenges you've been facing living? Then you, you receive you are leading a, a group of down to twenty something and uh, what are the challenges you've been facing? The challenges of the challenges are facing within the choir is late coming. Most times I'll try to come early in order for me to be finished early and go. At the end of the day they will not come early. But sometimes I'll go by the eight in the night, waiting for Keke and all that. But anyhow, his grace has been sufficient. Those who have been coming are they fiscal, also fiscally challenged? No, they are not. They are not fiscally challenged? Yes, sir. Wow, that is great. <laughs> <laughs> and they keep on coming and coming and coming. Yes, sir. Um, the, the, uh, don't you think that it is high time to get married and then let them, if any of them is right enough to settle you? Or what do you think? They don't want that to come. They have seen it. More boy cannot take care of me. And besides, I don't want to suffer in that case. I've been searching. I want to suffer in that case. I'm enjoying it. You want to get those that are not your case. You want to settle and, and enjoy after all the sufferings that you have. You want to go to the other place. It's nice. Um, what do you, what is your, um, advice to those who are fiscally challenged, what do you do, looking at your own situation and 
what is your advice to those who are okay? Let's not stick to this way. Those people, um, like in our society back here, not many people are caring for the less privileged, the uh, handicapped, and the less. So, what is your own advice today to millions of people who will be watching this thing for those who have or uh, Compassion that should be shown to the system people. My advice to the child masses is for them to help the disabled. Don't overlook them, no matter what. They are still great potentials. God has represented from them. Even if they do not go to school, they do not have any opportunity. But there are some other skills they can embark on and they will do very well in that particular thing. But I venture that the person they can meet. To be what God wants him to be in life, despite his or her physical challenges. I encourage the masses to help them. Whenever you see any disabled, don't ignore him or her. Try to give him a helping hand. Thank you. Thank you. Um, to, the, to those who are handicapped, like you, what is your own advice to them? My advice to my fellow handicapped. I will advise you not just to go inside your room and fold your hands, crying, waiting for mana to fall from a room. It's never done. Find something, then fix yourself. If you have no, you don't have opportunity to go to school, there is a, there is a skill, there is a potential, there is something in you that you can do. Even if it's making a deed, some soap clothes, depending on what, you know what you can do very well with that stress, you know what you can do without somebody teaching you. Go ahead and develop that talent, it's in you. God will help you. Thank you. Um, we will see you work, and uh, I hope you will to mind so that uh, the, those that are the whole people watching will be able to know that truly you are uh, in your physical challenge and um, that you need uh, help. Um, She said that she studied accountancy at the uh, University of um, Agriculture uh, at the state, and um, she needs help. I want to call out to well-meaning Nigerians and the people all over the world, those who are sympathetic to the cause of the handicapped and the less privileged, to please uh, come to the help of uh, Amarachi, she uh, she's not a beggar and she doesn't want to be one, but uh, she needs help. Yes, she needs help. She says that she wants to get into business where she can sell electronics and be in her own office. She's a computer literate, and if she cannot get into business, she can also get and pay the job. She studied agriculture and accountancy rather, and uh, she wants a paid job where she can also be employed and work and be paid and uh, as much as we uh, have the grace I appeal to well-meaning people uh, sympathetic to the cause of the less privileged like this the parents who could not take her beyond this but they have tried so that uh, she can have a motorized wheelchair or any other kind of wheelchair that it can be automatic where she can use it by herself and go to whatever she does. And she's a singer, she, she's a singer, she leads a choir, and uh, she can be helped to become a blessing. She can help others. I also know that by the time she's empowered, Amarachi will empower other less privileged and the handicapped people. Thank you so much, Amarachi. And uh, may the Lord bless you continue. I want to say I will continue to pray for you. And uh, please let the husband keep coming. 
and uh, so let the marriage take place. I would want to attend your wedding. I would want to be a part of your wedding, and uh, I will be glad to do that. Thank you so much. Happy to see you. Yes, God bless you too. Amen. He's a true child of God. Whenever he said he's going to do this, that exactly he, he must carry that out. He never fell in his body. He wants everyone within him to succeed and he's interested in people. And most importantly, every minister of God would inculcate the embodiment I see within this man. I would think the world would not just think that I believe vehemently that the world would be a better place for everyone to be in. It is endowed with the gift of not the heart of life, especially with regards to the need visionary, a visionary leader, very importantly, someone who has made sacrifices and is willing to make any sacrifice to fulfill his God vision. He is a person who empties himself. He could be having nothing and would give that same nothing to someone to use as something. 